Now we will move on to the example problems. I'm starting with example 3. The reason because degree and leading coefficients is very basic and it is very important to know this thoroughly. Then the other problems will be very easy. So we will start with example 3 and then move on to the other example problems. State the degree and leading coefficient of each polynomial in one variable. If not a polynomial in one variable, explain why. Now, this is example problem A, 2x to the power 4, first term, next is minus 3x to the power 3, minus 4x squared, minus 5x plus 6. Now, what does this one variable mean? This is very important. Sorry for the line, over here now. Now, you can see this is x, 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 and x, and this is a constant. Over here, x to the power 4, 3, 2, this is 1. And if you're thinking why there's no x really, it might be x to the power 0. So it is x to the power 0. So x to the power 0 is 1. So 6 into 1 will be only 6. So I can just remove that x to the power 0. And you're remaining with only 6. So this is how it is. Can you see any other variable? Variable means the number. You can see this. It is just x. It can be any number over here. It can be 1, 5, 10. It can be anything. That's why it's called a variable. Even a y is another variable, but you don't see any other number. It's only one single alphabet. Sorry, it's not number. It's an alphabet or variable, we call it. You can see only x as a variable. That means it's one variable. So yes, this is a polynomial and one variable. And how do we find the degree and leading coefficients? You can see this power, right? The power gives the degree. But which is the degree exactly? Is it the x power 4, 3, 2, 1, or this one, constant. The highest, always look for the highest power. That will denote the function. Because based on this term, 2x to the power 4, you will get the graph of this function. You do not need these. This will depict how the graph looks. You don't need to consider these. This is very important. So the degree is the highest power, that is x to the power 4, and the leading coefficient is whatever is the number beside the highest degree, that is 2. So in this case, the degree is 4 and the leading coefficient is 2. Moving on to the next one, here again we have just one variable, nothing more. So 7x to the power 3 minus 2, it's one variable, it is a polynomial function in one variable. Uh, sorry. And the degree is 3, and the leading coefficient is any number that is be beside the highest degree, that's 7. Try the others by yourself. Now, if you, you can try pausing the video and solve this by yourself. Now, if you think carefully over here, you see over here x squared, x, y, y squared. It is not one variable, there are two variables over here. So, it is not polynomial in one function. So, it is not a polynomial in one variable because there's two variables, x and y. Over here, again, it's only one variable. You can see only x is there and the highest degree is 5, leading coefficient is 1. Now, in the exam, don't think it will be arranged always in the descending order. You see the highest power is up, then it goes on reducing. Don't expect that. This can be any way. If this problem comes in the exam, it might be x to the power 2 minus 3x squared, sorry, 3x power 3. You know, it will be anyhow. This can be over here or here. It might be jumbled. So look into the powers, see which is the highest power. That is the degree. And this x to the power 5, what is be beside it? There is no number. If there is nothing, that means it's 1. 1 x to the power 5. It can't be 0 because if you multiply anything by 0, the answer is 0. So it must be 1. It's not 2 or 3. It's only 1 over there. Now, if you look into your textbook, right, the first problem has an A over here. Now, if this A is there, then this is a polynomial in 2 variable. The answer key in your textbook is given as degree 4 and leading coefficient 2. That means that is an error because generally A, B, C are considered as constants and they tell you the A value is say 2 or 3. 
So that is the thing. If the value is given, then you just multiply it as 3 and the answer will be 18 over here. And the variable is only x. But if the value is not given then, now if this was the question, there are two variables. You can't uh, find the degree because they have asked only for one variable. But since the answer key is mentioned, I think this is an error or they have just considered this to be a constant. So they have only considered this. Okay. So this is one thing. But always remember when there is any other variable than X, uh, Y or Z or W or R or S, any alphabet, you know, it will be two variable. But now here you are just looking for one variable. This is a simple check. I would recommend you to pause the video over here and try. See, these are the options. I would kindly ask you to pause the video right now. Think for a while. You know, go through all. Just don't go to the first answer. Go through all the answers. Think for a while and then answer it. I hope you have paused the video because I will continue to answer this question now. The first instance, most of the students might think, okay, the degree is three. Yes, the highest degree. And the leading coefficient is 11. But that is not the answer. The answer over here is D because it is not a polynomial in one variable. Why? Because to be a polynomial, you need to have powers greater than or equal to 0. So this is not a constant. Over here, the power, if you bring it up, it will be x to the power minus 1, isn't it? It's a negative power. So this is power 1, sorry. If you bring it up, it will be minus 1. So the exponent is ha the power we the variable is having less than zero. So this is not a polynomial in one variable. 